Hey everyone, Brian with Aero Teardrops. And in this video segment, we're gonna talk about this galley. So we're gonna run through all the features on this galley. Um, uh, this particular one has our cooler, slide out drawer, and the optional Dometic uh, refrigerator, the CFX 335 refrigerator. And to open the drawer, you're gonna unlock the travel lock here. And the drawer slides out and you're gonna open the lid to the cooler by rotating this little latch here. The cooler is powered up by depressing this power button here. You'll see right now it's 63 degrees inside the cooler and you can change the temperature by um, these settings right here. So set temp. Right now it's set at 39 degrees. So it'll power up and bring that temperature down to 39 degrees. You also have some different voltage cutoff settings um, on this cooler as well as a USB port and it has Bluetooth connectivity so you can see what the cooler is doing on your mobile phone. So that stows away in the drawer. Next to it here is the stove, it's a two burner stove. That slides out from underneath the counter. You've got your cover with wind guards. So while you're camping, you can set these wind guards up when you're ready to cook. And they kind of drop and slide into place. Stove has uh, its own igniter. And we provide a connection hose. So this is uh, connected on one end of the stove and on this end is the connector for the propane system. This particular trailer has um, a built-in propane system because it has the Propex heater. Otherwise, it'll have a um, regulator here to connect to a propane bottle. So um, this just simply connects over here on the outside of the trailer to the quick connect that's located down here. Now the stove is ready to be used. So when you're ready to stow the stove, you're going to disconnect it here at the propane line. Quick connect. So make sure the valve is off and then you'll unhook the hose and then you can store it away in the bottom of the drawer here. Next, you can uh, slide the wind guards up. Make sure that these are slid all the way up on the hinge here so that they can uh, fold over each other. And then you'll lift up slightly on the cover and that will drop down nice and flush. Once that's done, you can slide the drawer closed and lock the travel bolt. And now let's talk about the features above the counter here. So this trailer has our optional stainless steel countertops, really nice looking countertop. Uh, this is our water pump switch. If you have a water system on the trailer, these, this is the overhead light switch for the LEDs that are located up here in the hatch. And if you have the optional stereo system, this switch here will activate and deactivate the speakers here in the galley. And that way you don't have to go in and fuss with the um, menu on the stereo. You can leave everything set and just turn the speakers on and off here at the galley. Above that is a voltage meter and a 12 volt power port. Next is the 120 volt GFCI outlet. This is active when you are connected to shore power or a 12 volt or not 12, I'm sorry, 120 volt source. So generator or a 12, 120 volt outlet at the, at the campground. So only time those are active. Above that is the ZAMP solar controller that comes um, with the Lightleaf light uh, solar panel kit. Um, if you go for that option, the, this is where the um, solar controller is located. And it will control the charge to a variety of different batteries. And it tells you where the charge is. If it's getting uh, input from the solar panel, you'll see that up here. 
And we'll talk about the light leaf uh, system in a different segment. Each side of the electrical here, you've got two storage cabinets. And these are both equal in size. And each side has a, an adjustable um, shelf. So it's great for, you know, adjusting it to accommodate all of your camping items. Outside the galley here, we have our optional two inch receiver hitch. Now that's not intended for towing another trailer. We get asked that quite a bit actually. This is for a bike rack or a cargo basket. So about 150 pounds um, of uh, cargo capacity back here if you wanted to use it. On the side of the galley here is our extended side table. And I'll show you how that operates. So right now this is hung on a bracket that runs along here and it's supported underneath by these self-supporting braces that kind of interlock into each other to make this table nice and solid. And I'll show you how it detaches from the trailer. So you're simply gonna lift up on the outside of the table and just lift the table off and away from the trailer. We've got these support brackets here. This one moves out and away, that one falls and um, there's a magnetic catch here just to kind of keep it flat so you don't have these braces flopping around on you while you're carrying it and stowing it away and stuff like that. And then to hang it on the trailer, you'll open the braces up. This little tab here fits into the slot here on the brace. It comes in from above, so you'll drop the table onto the bracket and you'll make sure that it's flush on either end and then that the table drops into place. It's ready to be used.